Hello, and welcome to the third episode of Tech Z. This episode, we are going to be talking about how to thrive in your job role. My name is Kayleen. I am currently a product manager at Oracle, and I'm a Northeastern University alumni and a former brother of the fraternity Alpha Kappa Psi. I'm from Boston, but I'm here with you today in San Francisco, living a bit of the nomad life. So. Let me walk you through five easy tips today to help get you started. Tip number one, carve out your brand. This is what you are known for in your greater org or pillar, what people know about you, even if they don't work with you too often. You may not be an expert on anything quite yet, but you do bring a distinct set of skills to the table. So look for projects or tasks that are related to your interests or skills, and over time, people will think of you in relation to your brand, your cohesive professional identity. And over time, you'll become the go-to person for a lot of related activity to your demonstrated interests. Getting a little deeper into that is tip number two, leading an initiative. Brand building is the easiest to do when you are leading initiatives. There are always gaps in products, in programs, and in processes that you can help adjust and fill. Don't be intimidated by how new you are because sometimes those are the fresh eyes needed on the situation. Keep a running list of ideas, bold the ones that interest you the most, and find the right way and time to bring it up to your manager or organize something with your peers. Good management will let you explore as long as you stay on top of everything else. Tip number three, continue to network, both internally and externally from your company. Join interest groups, get back in touch with people from former student orgs, check out Slack and Discord, basically just try to get out of your everyday direct sphere. Often, some of the biggest shifts in your mindset come from people you do not regularly associate with. Along with a new perspective will come some new opportunities. Tip number four, lifelong learning. So this is going to sound incredibly cliched, but a lot of times early in your career, knowledge is often more important than the money itself. Later on, those decisions to pursue valuable experience will do more for your paycheck anyway. So know that your company or your team probably gives you more access to education than you might realize. Check out if they have a tuition reimbursement program, partnerships for training resources, or sponsorships for conferences and workshops. And finally, the last tip that is one of the most rewarding, it is mentorship. Now, mentorship is the basis of a healthy work culture of a community where you work. Take all that wisdom that you've been gaining and impart it onto someone else that needs it, just like others had done for you. See this as a possible opportunity to even train your replacement, if applicable. Teach them the things that you know, and they might get the chance to step up a bit in responsibility, and you can free up your plate while teaching someone else. So those are my tips. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe or follow to all my socials down here. I'm Kayleen. It was so nice to meet you. Have a good one.